at the end of the day, I want everyone around me to win and we will, period. Video. They can't see you. They can't see you. Mm -hmm. Just say like it. Go ahead. Say, say your speech. Hey guys, ready to do my live video. Mm. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. No. Yes. Welcome to my mommy video. Your guys, ready to buy you. What? What did you say? I think I put it. I'll hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. All right. I didn't put out to kid you. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. You just get, you just washed your hair. Yes, I just washed my, my hair. In my bath. Yes, it's my bath, but yeah. Mommy, why you take it? All right. Go ahead, so I can finish my hair, please. Thank you. My hair is still damp or whatever. I'm not combing it out dry because that would be very detrimental. So it is damp. Anyways, yeah, so I'm about to do this for each section of my hair, comb it out, apply a minimal amount of leave-in conditioner, and then blow it out, and then I'm going to start the straightening process. So that's what I'm going to do. I blow dry my hair I try to go up level so I start off like cool then warm then I get you know higher and I think the best way to like achieve like the most straight look that you want for your silk press or whatever make sure that your hair is really really blow dry like really well I think that's like the key if you have a really good blow dry then your press will come out pretty good so that's what I'm gonna do The blow drying is mostly done, as you can see. Um, this is the best I'm, I'm gonna get with my blow dry. Blow drying is probably for me the most annoying part because it's just a lot of back and forth. Um, so yeah, I think I did a decent job with blow dry. Hopefully, it pays off. I think what I'm gonna do is just go through it a little bit with the hot comb to help get any of like, you know, kinks that may not completely straighten with the flat iron. Also, I don't know if this is due to like, maybe I need to switch my products around and I know I already do off rip, like I already know I need more natural, I need better natural hair care products or just better hair products in general. But like, when does like postpartum shedding end? <laughs> Like, I'm three years, but I just feel like my hair sheds more than it ever did in my entire life. And I don't know why. It could be because of the products. It might be postpartum, but I don't remember my hair shedding this much prior to me having children. Um, I don't know. But I feel like, hold on. I feel like it could be a number of things. It could be maybe the 
the way that I'm conditioning, the, the, the way that I'm detangling. It could be a lot of things, but like, I know like when I took my braids out, like I, you naturally get shedding, but I just feel like sometimes it's a bit excessive. But this is what I got after combing out my hair. This is not the total amount of hair that came out. So I don't know, I don't know. Is it me? Am I the problem? Am I the drama? It might be me. This hot comb really don't give what it's supposed to give. I have another one and I don't know where it's at, but I prefer that one, but I can't find it. So I'm, it's, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I'm really just more focused on the roots. Yo, the meaty bees. The meaty bees. took me about an hour and some change maybe <coughs> um yeah that took me about an hour and some change I'm going to I don't necessarily need a trim this time around, but the next time I do, uh, um, whatchamacallit, I'm gonna I'm have to get a trim. I gave myself a middle part, that's usually what I do. Um, and then I'm going to add some serum. I use Frisbee's, I think it's called. I'll show y'all in a second when I go get it. But I'm gonna add some serum and to lock in moisture and then to keep it from reverting. <laughs> but this is what we working with. It's definitely giving body and that was the goal. Um, so yes, this is what it's giving. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Honestly, the biggest thing when it comes to the silk press minimum 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 amount of product that you use like a leave-in conditioner or something before you actually straighten your hair one in a good blow dry your blow dry is decent minimum products you'll have good body and flow so yes let me go grab the serum and um i gotta actually start getting moving wow my hair did grow a bit okay <laughs> this is what i use this is um Garnier Fructus Sleek and Shine. It's an anti-frizz serum. It is with argan oil from Morocco. And this is for frizzy, dry, and manageable hair. It's an instant, sleek, proven strength system. But I've been using this since for like ever. Hey y'all. Okay, so this is the final look, the final product. As you can see, um, I ended up with a side part after I I wrapped my hair last night and I unwrapped it this morning. Um, when I unwrapped it, the side part was like kind of given. So I kind of stuck with the side part and I like it. But yes, this is the final look for my at home silk press. This is my second time doing it like for real, for real. Can y'all see? Is it given? 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 Okay, so if y'all have any questions regarding like what I did with my hair or any suggestions, whatever, just leave a comment. I'm here. Um, I, I got a little flyaways, but yes. 
so I'm going to end off this video with 10 quick facts about me. I realized that I kind of jumped right back into YouTube. Matter of fact, no, I jumped into YouTube last year, around this time last year, and like never introduced myself. I never had an intro video. I never like gave any type of synopsis about who I am. And I just kind of was like, ah, I'm here. I want to make sure that y'all know who I am. You feel me? You have to know. We, we got to know each other. Like, if you don't know me, why would you even care to watch myself? So, y'all yep, finna get to know me. So, what I actually did was, I went on, you, on my Instagram page. And if you do not follow me on Instagram yet, it's right here. Um, I went on my Instagram page a few nights ago and was like, hey, ask me some questions. The only two people ask me questions. <laughs> But I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. But it's fine. I'm not. It's fine. Also, I'm at over 100 subscribers. So like, I'm at like 110 right now. And that's amazing. I remember back in, what was it? November? October, November? When I was like at 49. And I was just like, I need to get to 50 at least. And here I am. And in the course of like three months. I'm at over a hundred. That's amazing to me. I don't care what nobody says. We're celebrating small wins all 2022. And that's definitely a win for me to have over a hundred subscribers. Real quick, I'ma go through 10 quick facts about me, Leah Collette, where I'm from. I ain't from Brooklyn, New York, born and raised, been there my whole life. That's my heart right there, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, okay? Number two, I am a wife. I am a married, I's married, don't mind my nails. I's married, y'all. I am married to the love of my life, obviously, but he is an international basketball player. I like to label myself as a basketball wife, because I am. I'm a mom of two beautiful girls, Sarai and Kari, ages six and three. Occupation, so I was an educator. Um, and under the umbrella of educator, there's so many things, but I basically, I was a teacher, I was a counselor, I was a coach. Um, part-time administrator like I did a lot um, so that's what I did up until this past about August I kind of transitioned into the stay-at-home mom role not on purpose but kind of on purpose finding my way as a stay-at-home mom I published two journals two journals on um, via Amazon black powerful queen and it's your time sis so if you're interested in planning journals head on over to the link in my description you can purchase them on amazon they're on prime as well so they can come in two three days if you need them girl i went to temple university um for undergrad and i studied theater i was a theater major so i was you know i thought i was about to be up on a and i still can be good up on somebody's screen Number seven, my favorite movie, Mary Poppins. You probably would never guess it, but yes, Mary Poppins is my favorite movie. Just a spoonful of sugar. What is one of my favorite movies to watch with my girls? And I would say Aladdin, the live action one with Will Smith. That's a favorite of the household. And um, Home Alone 2 is actually a more, more recent favorite. We've been watching that a lot since Christmas time. My favorite food of all time, pizza. Number 10, my favorite dessert, anything chocolate, but mostly like chocolate cake or chocolate ice cream, haagen to be specific. Those are 10, 10, 10 quick facts about me. There was another um, either question or comment on my Instagram. Like I said, it was only two. You've always found joy or humor um, in your life despite like the complexities or like just also still being within the complexities of your own life and of the world of being a black woman and all of that and what that you know comes with um and i would just like to say this to end off the video that is truly who i've always been as a person there's nothing in the world as much as i have gotten knocked down by my own you know insecurities or anxiety or depression or just problems in my life uh, amongst everything else that comes with the world I've, I've always just found a way to seek out the joy to seek out the positivity and that's kind of what i want to like model for my my children um to always just find the strength within yourself and to always bring joy to yourself first and then that way it can be outwardly expressed and bring joy to other people that's something that i truly aspire to be on many different levels um, as a mom, as a wife, 
um, as someone who can come in front of a camera and like bring it to y'all. I just feel like life is too short to not have joy. If I'm able to see it within myself, then I hope that I'm able to model that and be that for someone else and have them model that within themselves and find that within themselves and then they can outwardly express it and it, it and then it can bring joy to somebody else's life it's kind of like you know small uh small acts of kindness in a sense like it's a ripple effect right if i smile at you and that maybe you're having a bad day and then that smile that i just gave you you end up smiling and it give you give it to somebody else and then that just i feel like if we're all feeling the vibes if we're all good within ourselves and then we're good with the people around us and that brings us full circle and then the world is just a better place whatever the world is whatever your world is it could be the tiny little community that you have but whatever it is like if i can bring joy to you then you can bring joy to somebody else and then you know it's it comes full circle as a black mom as a black wife as a black woman as um a black being a black creator a black creative a black uh entrepreneur, whatever label or however you may view me or how the world may view me, that's just something that I truly, truly want to stand by. It's to always bring joy. It's to always bring positivity. You know, at the end of the day, I want everyone around me to win and we will, period. With that being said, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on my socials, y'all. <laughs> Zeus is. Have a good one. Bye.